Welcome to Turmeric and Tequila with your host, Kristen Olson. Questioning a better way, one gracefully disruptive conversation at a time. Zach is new, literally from Boston off the plane. Literally um, just touched it. We didn't even know him. Shelly actually just drove to the airport, picked up some dude. I'm like, we need some force with a pass. <laughs> Why is it not need some dude? Dude, come on. I'm scared. That's what happens. I have my thumb out. On brand right now. Yeah, yeah, I was going to actually, <laughs> true story, no one really picked up, but yes, she picked up on it. Uh, no, he's he's a, a friend of the fam. He's been here before. But I'm going to let them do a quick intro, and then literally we're going to talk about 2019 in review from... Uh, kind of real issues, mostly like USA, what happened in USA, and then what in pop culture. We've got champagne. Here's to 2019 coming to a close. Cheers. 2020, end of a decade, which is kind of crazy. Wild times. Um, happening, and then we're just going to go. So I always want to be like, call in if you have any questions. Is that you on the podcast? I want that to be a thing. Okay, good. Shelly. Call in if you have Line one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Alright, give us give us some intros, Zach. You wanna go first? Yes, hi, this is Frank Zach. Oh, oh, yes. oh, 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 he was like, let me get this out of the way so we right. can't bring it up later. Yes, because I know good. these bettys are going to fall later. <laughs> later. That's fine. And uh, I'm from Boston. I've been there for uh, my entire life. I lived in California oh, for a little bit. Oh, okay. But, but uh, not born in Boston. No, I'm not born in Boston. You don't I was sound born like you outside are. of Boston. I was born in Lowell, which okay. is a big metropo- uh, metropolis. Well, there's oh. a street right there called Lowell. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Super deep edge. It's yeah. all the way up to right Denver, so yeah. 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 Um, and I work with Shell. Um, she didn't pick me up just off the street, so that was good. <laughs> I was nice disappointed. Idea. I'm like, we know him. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's <laughs> I mean, I love you, but I'm rather tired. <laughs> um, so it's good to be here. Yes, thank you. Welcome. Thanks for coming again. Mm-hmm. I'm glad we didn't stray you off round one. Yeah. What? Are you kidding me? I know. <laughs> <laughs> we went dancing that night, too, in uh, suburbia. Oh. Oh. What were, <laughs> <guys> <laughs> a, what were we doing out there? Uh, well, what we were doing out there is Kristen <laughs> actually forced us to go to a party by literally oh, did. Oh, trying right. to fake Shanghai us into having fun. <laughs> yes. But there we were at the View House and Kristen oh. Olsen um, oh. doing normal Kristen Olsening actually cleared the dance floor and required <laughs> all of us to watch her. No, I didn't fully make it. No, oh, one, oh, oh, nobody oh. was out there anyways. I really had to clear it. It was literally like 9 p.m. I love it when two friends have um, <laughs> yeah, known each other for years. You know, yeah, like, like, the no. back and forth and I'm is like, so good. I'm like, no, nah, don't even pull that. You did the full, like, your normal move of, like, clearing the dance floor. I was floor. wearing my yellow oh. pants. Everybody oh. needs to see the yellow pants. Okay. Yeah. And then we went home, and I cursed her name that night. <laughs> I didn't know where we were going at the time, so I was totally on board with it. And I think everyone else heard so the name of the bar. I was like, what I was, I was like, F that. Ugh, majority, fine. Yeah. Welcome to politics. Yeah, where? jokes on them. <laughs> we're driving 30 minutes to where? It was only like 25. And the DJ was like... Oh, pretty good. Was it? Oh. It's not bad. It's definitely better than the best, like, or the most the dance party I've actually had in Denver recently. Okay. Which I've also been, <laughs> I miss Jesus Karaoke or Sexy Jesus Karaoke. Sexy That's Jesus a thing, by the way, I'm not starting to find a skirt. I yeah. learned that yesterday. Yes. Yeah. Sexy Jesus. Yeah, it's, it's, it's sexy a thing. Jesus <laughs> Apparently. Yeah. It's a thing. Is it a Denver thing or is it? Uh, apparently. Well, they had me at next to Tubis and Mario's, which is. Yeah. Oh, best pizza. Yes. Yeah. 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 And the, yeah. so yeah. next to that friends. bar <laughs> is Double Daughter Salado. And it's a bar. I know that. Um, yeah, yeah, the one where you can get. Um, <laughs> you know, don't even try. Don't, 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 don't even try. You're like, I'll just get the bar. I was waiting for that. You literally have to wait to do it. Just, you just do that to show. Oh. Like, oh. Yeah. You want to practice because you'll probably do it again later. Oh. oh. <laughs> Oh, she's not even gonna do it. I love it so much. Yeah, I got you. I got you. I got you. <laughs> okay, 
can't see it again. All right, let's jump in. Shelly, do you introduce yourself? Who are you? Who are you? You're in my t-shirt. Um, I am Shelly. I am Kristen's um, OG buddy from Denver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have supported her in all things from CRS Lax oh, till now. She has actually, but she's having you both start herself. I right still now. cannot tell you what Kristen does for a living. This is my favorite non paid job. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, when you love what you do, it's like you never worked a day. <laughs> Dude. We both know I work, we just never really know what's going on. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the she is done. Yeah, she doesn't answer Are her phone done? and is tired, so that <laughs> only can equal productivity. <laughs> <laughs> right. Does that mean that you work? That was good. Let's <laughs> <laughs> be on Tinder. Just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> never be on Swipe left, swipe left. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, Ashley, we, we've had you on, but like, give, us, give us a little <laughs> Ashley for one more real quick. Hi, guys, again. Greetings and salutations, oh. per usual. Oh, um, I'm Ashley. Um, your local Colorado esthetician, um, uh, Colorado native. Lash extraordinaire is like Lash extraordinaire and, 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 you know, karaoke. I think that's the only thing you can see from the camera is my lashes, but sorry. Yes. No. Mm. They do look it's, good today. I mean, you know, so so okay. um, also Denver native. So yep. three Denver, that's actually remarkable. Oh yeah, yeah. Denver yeah. Yeah. all the yes. rare birds. Everybody so always says birds. like, oh, you're a, uh, what are they, uh, you're a unicorn. Like, uh, okay, yeah, but I know people. Four are unicorns are... right now. He's no, we're all unicorns, Boston. Right? Would you say Cali born? We're in California. No, no, uh, no. Lowell born. Oh, sorry, Lowell. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a bit of a gypsy, so. Like no, what are you and Shelly are friends? It's perfect. Boy, gypsy. Perfect, love, okay, perfect. Um, all right, let's do it. So we're going to discuss 2019, uh, what happened a little bit on the serious side, but mostly I've done a lot of pretty like intense, heavy podcasts, which I thrive on and I love, and we've talked about, we've talked into some issues, but it's going to be even more intense in 2020 in all the best ways. Um, so today we're literally mostly going to talk about pop culture moments, which ironically really do define a lot of our realities and what we do and how we think and what we see and how we digest what we think and see. So while it's funny, there are like some heavy undertones where you're like, oh, I do remember that. And it, it's completely insignificant, but you'll remember that over like school shootings and some other stuff. So we're keeping it light today. We're going to weave in a few relevant uh, conversation points that are, you know, that we do need to remember and reflect on and keep as a base. But today's really about fun. So we'll start off. Ashley and I made a list. Of, <laughs> we're going to go month by month and just break it down as all the casts. Safe space, we don't know where this is gonna go, we're just gonna let it go. No, we're just here. Um, but we're gonna go month by month and talk about important things. So kicking it off, January of this year, Ashley's birthday. Oh <laughs> Woo! Yeah. So Woo! I turned 30. Oh, that was a big one. Right. Well, that was it. Oh, I turned 30. It's like a big one. It was oh, my man. 30th birthday. She's just a wee baby. Oh. Okay, give us, the, <laughs> give us the breakdown on the three oh let me just say this guys. Ever since I was about like fourteen or fifteen years old, I've wanted to be thirty. I completely believe it. Or forty-five. I've wanted to be thirty my whole entire life. Oh, I actually. <laughs> <laughs> this is where I need to go. I know that sounds super weird. Not a real thing. But like, <laughs> also keep in mind, deep down inside, I'm like a solid forty-five. Yeah, you're super. I just said forty-five. Yeah, like I'm a really percent. old soul. So like, I never want to be like, oh my god, I want to be eighteen. Oh, I want to be twenty-one. No, I've always wanted to be thirty. So. Me and my best friend, um, one of my best friends, Stephanie, we always used to discuss like, oh, when we're 30, we'll like live in a high rise, you, you know, do? downtown, do you and yeah. it'll have a bellman. I don't have bellman, no. but I do look down There's always a nice guy out front. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, Seriously. You know, nobody's like doing crack outside no. yet. I don't know. Yeah. It's downtown. But, <laughs> but I always wanted to live downtown. I always wanted to wear like fancy ass shoes, and then the only thing that I said that I don't do is like drink martinis. You don't like, drink martinis? They're okay. But but like, I mean, basically, I mean, the shots we just took are like the martini scenes of yeah. olive, which I have right. olive. We can have those. So yeah, like I've always no one drinks to... tequila martinis. I do. I've ordered them. It's basically a chill shot with a lemon wedge. I'm sure. Yeah. 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 I'm into it. Yeah. I'll do it. I have martini glass. I'll make you one before we leave. Wonderful. Yeah. I'm in. So yeah, I've always wanted to be 30. So I completely believe that. Part That's part perfect. <laughs> yeah. I think I've never wanted to be old, but I think I've always thought my best year for some reason will be 40. Which okay. is super I weird. Hear 40, really? I yeah. hear 40 is amazing. 
Well, that's nice because well, I got just, seven like, more minutes, minutes man. <laughs> 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 still have an no, good. I truly do hear that well, forty's amazing. I don't think it, it better not peak there because we got a lot mm -hmm. of years after that. <laughs> I mean, physically, like, well, I don't know. No! Oh, no, you cut and paste? We got well, my yeah. uh, my charting shows. <laughs> so you have likely plateaued. Like oh, okay. <laughs> she made this chart of, like, me and Madonna, obviously, you know, my business superhero. Mm -hmm. Um, was like, it was only us through, like, 27. Because we were, like, 14 that's what, then. No, that's <laughs> when we made it, was when we were 26. So you only did, like, from then to 26? Yeah, like, how old so was So I should have been done at 26, I guess. If 26 was the peak, we... Yeah. Well, that Whoa. was the peak for what yeah. I knew. I haven't added on to the chart. We were, I feel like we were a mess at 26. So it was... Get another piece of paper. It was... <laughs> <laughs> I'll show that. Like, if I have any editing impossible, I'll show the... What was the access? Chart. Access, it was like cool. You're like a 14 year ugly, and it's 15, she was ugly. And then like I <laughs> outpeaked her a little bit at like 27. Yeah, there was like... Sorry. So there was a story of the ball that did it. Oh, yeah, there was for real that because, yeah, because in Kristen's mom's house, there's the Olsen wall of shame. Yeah. Oh, yes. So, oh, you can, oh, so many pictures. Okay, yeah. you can yeah. see the evolution of like, Kristen. I'll be seeing it. I'll be seeing it. Fantastic. Fantastic. I can't wait. The I was literally a bowling ball. My mom decided <laughs> to pack me in a yellow outfit. So, like, every baby has balls, but I was bald, ironically. Literally, the doctor told my mom, your kid's not going to have any hair later on. Meanwhile, a thousand percent of my income goes to, like, dry bar. Right. So, it's, yeah. <laughs> so, so, so like, are, are you serious? Yeah, I swear to God. My mom used to caro syrup my hair in a little bow, with, like, syrup and a bow. Because people were like, everyone thought you were a boy. And I was like... Oh. And then she would dress me in like these cute little dresses and they'd be like, your son's adorable. So she would, oh, no. she would wear like little bows and I was bald to like two years old. You had like a big weird top knot. Oh, like bald bald. Yeah, no, no, the doctor literally was like, oh. she's probably not going to have a chair. And then there's <laughs> so Here we are. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Dude, and then I, I got this amazing wig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I used all that like, extra It's like legitimately like a Beyonce wig here. <laughs> It's Beyonce status wig here. A wig would be so much cheaper. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, time, money, and energy. I hear Beyonce's wigs are mad expensive, though. So oh, are you kidding? Like, all wigs are mad oh, expensive. Oh, yeah. So do well, the really good ones. The good ones. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Even... You stream my process? I have a, I have the afro wig. That's great. And, and it's a good one. Oh. Is it a good one? It's great. It's good. Uh, okay. <laughs> Anything good, you gotta understand. It's and but if you can like change it, especially if you're famous, which I don't really know yet. But if you like can switch modes that quick. No blowing out, no dealing with no product, no nothing. You know, I mean, it is, it's an amazing thing. I hate when I get recognized right now out in the I world so and not, I put I the mean, Afro wig on and I'm fine after yeah. that. So. Well, not, not after this goes out. No. I think it's ruined it, man. <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm glad that this is where we went via Ashley's. I know. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Birthday, but this is how the pod goes. No, so. it is thousand. Takes a lot Here's of luck. How we what did you, Ashley, what did you learn, was there any, like, when you turned 30, did you feel like you're 29 the day before, you're 30 the next day, did you feel a difference? I think I actually feel a difference. When I was on birthday, the day feels special. Um, <laughs> I will say that I didn't feel different the next day just because I take turmeric. <laughs> yeah! yeah. <laughs> okay! Stay on brand, but That's no, tough. seriously, like, I take turmeric, so just because, like, working out-wise and Anti stuff like that. anti So, I didn't feel different, but I was just more like, FINALLY! <laughs> oh. I was, like, so excited. Like, I'm here. And also, like, you know, I don't look my age, so I've always wanted to be, like, people like, oh. You're well. humble like us. Yeah, you're yeah. so young and beautiful. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's our Julia, we're just teetering on perfection all the time. Right, you know, it's, it's a normal day. That's why I let my lashes go, Ashley, because I just couldn't hurt the pedestrians anymore. Uh, you know what? I feel you. I feel you. It's fine. Confidence like, my young females is a powerful thing. What, you, what did you do for your birthday? Uh, I went to Mexico. Okay. I'd never been to Mexico before. Yeah. We did, like, the whole resort situation. So I got That's nice and sauced birthday. every day. It was... Great. My the whole family. family was there. Oh, that's nice. Friends were there. There was Stacey. Yep. yep. Everybody um, was So, there. Uncle E, um, who we call Uncle Isis, um, very long story. Um, has to do with, Kanye like, play. this Kanye thing. Yeah. And then we call Stacy Vacation Stacy when we go on vacation with her because... Ooh, she turns she is a ton. She was she Shout was out to my the party. party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was handling the party. But I feel like she could party. Oh, hmm. does she? Yeah. She likes okay, to have like facing. she likes to keep it like super like reserved to like trick you. She picks her no. times. I like she's, that though. She's not that. that lady. I gotta learn that skill. I think actually. No, 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 no. It falls under hey. the grace heading. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> 
2018 was. <laughs> Still working. Be Still more graceful. graceful. So 2021 will be more graceful. Will we? No, we'll, no. we'll actually will we change. Though? Picking my time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Picking my time to execute on Savage. <laughs> okay, so you turned 30 in Mexico. It was a great time to okay. be alive. And it was like, I turned 30 on a Saturday. Like, I went just like become the, friends the weekend days. Because you're like, I, I got. You, Cause I don't remember. I remember no, we, 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 we were remember. friends before that. Were we? Yeah. Because you weren't like. Super I was still working. Though. Yeah, we weren't like. I wasn't like. Hey, come to Mexico. Cause I don't like. I'm coming. As a I weird. low key. Hi, family. I know you. <laughs> right. I mean, like. <laughs> oh, Kristen, I'm sure. I'm sorry. It's 2020. I totally would have invited you. I probably would have showed up. And I would have invited you. No, you should like literally. She would have fit in just fine. Dude, just fine. Yeah. It, but, I like, love I can't wait for you to meet my family. Yeah, dude, I love people. I can't wait. Like, it's yeah, there is. Like, I, I mean, your Christmas party was like relatively tame. Was fun. I was shooting kind of tame. Tame. It was a bad idea for me. Tame. I mean, when you see Olsen family Christmas. We'll get there. We'll yeah, get yeah, there. Yeah, we'll get there. Let's not just talk about that. We'll talk about it. Yeah, no, 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 no. Also, we'll talk about it. also in January, the women's march for the third year. Yes. <laughs> um, didn't go, but I mean, I heard it was okay. amazing. Commentary other side. Yeah, this March in Boston. This is still sort of January events. This is like the major what's going on in America. I'm gonna we'll slide back into pop culture. But my kicker with this was I didn't. I mean, I knew the Women's March was going on, but I don't even think I knew about it the first two years. And I'm come on, cat ear out. I swear to gosh. I oh, you said gosh, which is funny. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't think I did. Maybe I didn't like put that together with like Women's March, or maybe I thought it always happened. I don't know. I haven't like. I think the good thing about our political space now is like, it's it's provoked me and perhaps people like me to pay attention even more. Like things are going on at a time, but we get so involved in our myopic space and like our own world, and like it is busy and you just stay in that like little gerbil ball. Mm -hmm. But now you're like, oh, there's a lot going on. I better pay attention because like I may or may not like it, and we gotta know what's happening next and when there's opportunity to change it. So I think maybe I'm just more awake now. With your commentary, well, I just don't care. Really? About no. women's march? No, I don't Why? care. Why? I don't know. So explain on that. Tell us about. Um, it. so I am not a particularly rah rah girls type of person. Okay. I am a rah rah hard work, and those who work hard will be rewarded. Mm. And I think that these things, unfortunately, sometimes marginalize women more. Really? Because we are calling mm. to the attention, uh, the inequality, which is something that I've just never experienced in my professional life. So maybe I lack a little empathy in that to some degree, but that's, I think it ends up just sort of further creating the divide of us and them when we're doing specific marches in that way. Okay. I mean, but I, I just, like the pink hats. Yeah. Ooh. Also, I just, I just, I don't, I, I just like different sides of like, I love different perceptions yes. of how people view And not that I don't think it should be available. I think sure. everybody should be able to do what they yeah, want. Yeah, it's not that like you're against yeah. it. You're yeah. just like, it's not for me. It's not my jam. Is, that's okay. okay. Well, the important piece is like understanding all those perspectives so then that we can kind of like really yeah. understand each other and like, right. and be free of like you, you're, I mean, in any situation, everybody's experience is so different in how we're living life. And we'll never walk the shoes of each other, no right. matter what it is. So just to be, like provide space and grace of what your experience, what your view, cool, I'm over here, you're right here. That's how she and that's okay. about it in a right. history class. But I I actually think that I would challenge any female to like say they've never been marginalized. I just don't think you're aware. We've talked about this. I don't think you're aware of it. And I think there's advantages, particularly in your job, where a female is has more liberty. I've talked about this in fashion where uh, women are allowed to be, it's more culturally uh, acceptable to be expressive through fashion. Like men are more of like suit and tie and there's certain mm -hmm. things like to show up in a crazy yellow dress is one thing. You can kind of be more fashion forward as a female. Sure. But I, I just think in every capacity you really pull back layers, let me say this boldly, um, you probably even marginalized at some point and didn't know it. And it may or may not have affected you, but it's it's... I think it's one of those. Oh, it's definitely in the undercurrent of, of everything. But I think even as being as coach as an athlete, absolutely, that's you're probably saying. just super like pushed through. No, that, but also like, my, that's your personality. That but professionally, to. professionally, my compensation isn't tied to any kind of um, inner workings or political schemas. Totally. It's a complete. It's completely whatever I go and gather, I'm paid on. So mm -hmm. that is 
that is agnostic of my but gender. But you only know you're on hustle. You couldn't compare it to being a man because you don't know. Maybe you had to work harder as a female. Maybe you had to work less hard. I don't know. But yeah. I'm just saying you know you don't know the other side. Right, but no uh, inner office politics or yeah. gender is the difference between me making it or not. It's purely yeah. based on my own hustle. Yeah. Which is good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, that's good. And to I feel hear. like your company, though, like outside of personal, but like it's been good about keeping things pretty fair from what I've heard. Totally. In general. Yes. Have you experienced that from like a male's perspective? Uh, what the. the I mean, gender just. Inequality? Uh, gender I inequality, like but like anything. <laughs> well, sure. I mean, I mean, just any part, any situation. I mean, let's not even get like, let's just say like just vague, like situations in business where you're like, <clears throat> I don't know if that really felt right either way but like it's business and this is kind of like a social norm yeah we don't, we don't really look at i don't i guess i have the the advantage of not having any sort of bias towards supervision i, I supervise the yeah. advisors mm -hmm. at, at my at my um, office so i don't all the rules apply to everybody and so yeah. it's not like i'm going to give anybody an advantage or disadvantage if you're you're gender neutral or a male or female so um, at the end of the day, everything applies and you get the same advantages and you get to do the same things you're incentivized the same way just at the, at the end of the day. So, yeah. um, I think that people that have experienced those um, like marginalizations, like the, it's good to have the solidarity to go out and go to those marches and say, yeah. I've got people that feel the same way. Yeah. You know, even if Michelle hasn't felt that way before, you know, she could still go and, and it would be backing other people that felt that way. Totally. Yeah. Right. And they get at least get to get get together and go, Man, it feels good that we're Supporting. I'm not alone. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. So Well I think that I mean even if it seems like one topic you're kinda of like like I'm here to march for equality. Mm -hmm. That being said, pardon me, is that you I mean it's one piece of the puzzle. When you show up you, you meet people who have one piece in common and then you like get to have a conversation and you have like 50 things in common mm -hmm. or you're supporting and then you get to learn more like it's that sense of community on a, a larger scope like right. a 10,000 foot view like when you build community you build you become part of something bigger than yourself even if it doesn't super identify with you I'm such a believer in that because then you get to see like okay these are powerful people that I mean they're at least willing enough to show up for something they believe in this might not be the thing you show up and believe in but you show up and believe in other things so you have like that skill set of like we show up and believe in something, mm -hmm. and that's and that's why I've always loved the filter of like fitness or business. Like you meet your like-minded humans, and even if you don't have that exact common denominator, usually the facilitators or the skill set that gets you to that point is in common. So I don't know. I would encourage everyone to that. I'm a huge believer in the women's march or any march or you know gay pride or whatever it is. Like if you go out there and you support whatever your voice or viewpoint is. I'm a fan of, and I also love events and community and like all that human <laughs> stuff. Like, to party, yeah, and I like events. Yeah. To go somewhere. Literally, one of the best things about like, <laughs> outdoors, we did. I'm talking to this another cast. In one day, we did the Pride Festival with Rose and Courtney. We did a mm, uh, barbecue times. fest at um, uh, Mile High with my dad for Father's Day and my whole family, and then we did Juneteenth. At oh, night man, um, with yeah. Ashanti. So we like chucked all the boxes. It was like one of the best days of my life. <laughs> but I'm like an events amp. I love all of it. And it was such a, a different energy, but not really. Like everyone was there to just like show up, have fun, show support, and be positive. And I don't know. So that's, that's my uh, dissertation there. But it was good. <laughs> all right. So event two, we only got three sheets of paper. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So I don't want to bring the energy down, but we're just going to earmark like the uh shootings that are happening in america because it's as i went through these events I, it was remarkable and i don't know if you saw this as you looked up like how many were happening in month and i don't even know shelly and i were in um we were seniors in high school when columbine happened and i actually played a lacrosse game at columbine the day before the shootings went down and columbine isn't even in the top 20 i think it's, I, don't, I don't even said the top 40 at this point i'm fact check um so it's, the shootings are so relevant. So we're gonna keep it light, but I just wanna earmark some like major points just so we keep in back of mind like how relevant some of this stuff is. And frequency. Is going and frequency is, yeah. So Ashley's birthday, Women's March, two shootings in January. And this is just what's recorded. So like nothing that's small or maybe like communities that aren't known or like publicized. 
This is just what's there. Um, the government shutdown happened. <laughs> <laughs> Give me my wall yeah, or else. I, I, here's the thing. I don't know how any business shuts down. I don't, I like, I don't, if anyone's an entrepreneur. Snow day. You don't, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no. As an entrepreneur, you're, you, people are like, I'm going to start a business, I'm going to have off days. No, bitch. You yeah. work in all the days. I don't know, I don't know how it does, but it, it did. So, anyone want to comment on that? I want to go to February. <laughs> <laughs> Said everybody that was living in January. Okay. Right, right. No, no, no. I'm, I'm looking I mean, at Michelle because, you know, if you are like an entrepreneur, like you have your own business, you guys want all like you guys hustle, you know? Yeah. And like, I just, I, I love the hustle. Yeah. So. so some people they get paid. I don't even know. All right. Ashley, what did you, a girl. Gotcha. Uh, what did you have in January? Do you want me to do, do my pop culture ones? Pop culture. Because, I mean, it was just my birthday. Which... Um, that's all that matters. It's all <laughs> that was, which is a natural That was her political. That was, that was her political. Okay, okay, I will say this, though. So, I don't really care about any other holidays aside for my birthday and New Year's Eve. Okay. Wait, Christmas is a big for you? No. That's don't your favorite about, holiday. Okay. Fourth of July? Easter. I mean, yeah, I like to turn up. Memorial Day? I, I, like, I used to go to Vegas a lot for Memorial Day. That, that was a good that time. That was your jam? Like yeah, that. long weekend. Well, wait, yeah. so wait, why New Year's Eve? It's just great. Like, you're starting a new year, and I like to dress up. And I mean, you're, 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 no, you're, you're like, like, we're extra. No, I'm with you. So oh, I like I'm, to be so extra. Just like any this casual Wednesday. Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Right. No, I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> but for me, it's just New Year's Eve and my Respect. birthday. Okay. But so, like... And the same thing, like, for my birthday, like, I treat it like a holiday. Oh, so yeah. oh, my, my family knows, like, oh, no, 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 we're going to yes, celebrate. For their, yes. yeah, that was good. They had no choice but to join us. Right. <laughs> join it was, like, deep guilt shame. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. It'd be, like, it wouldn't even be guilt shame. It'd be a problem problem. Oh. 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 Like, I, I don't know if I have that yeah. power in my family. I feel like I'm sort of glad I wasn't invited. There's a lot of expectations. I only asked for one yeah. day. Like and but to be but very, a whole trip that was a week. <laughs> but to be very, very <laughs> that you are required to go to. I turned thirty, which I've always wanted to be. But to be very fair, you know, anytime it's anybody's birthday, I treat it. I treat it the same way. I will. No, I know it's like twice. You I think I like think that. people being bored and like you're still here. I think that's very important. Yeah. So oh. it's not like oh just me me me, but like oh no no no, I only celebrate. It's true. Really we celebrate two things. People's birthdays. It's very you reciprocal. Were, you were there. You drinks, mix, yes. dance, and you're like yes. one of the last survivors at the end of the day. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, we'll get there. She went hard. We'll get she, there. Yes. October. She went hard. We'll get and oh uh, wait, who's who else's <laughs> birthday were you like you stayed out? Oh um, Courtney's. Yes. Courtney was got Courtney, I love you. Man, that was a good time. Courtney was down. You're like, you took We have fun. Courtney was down. Courtney was down. Did you guys see the elevator video of uh, Ashley? Oh, God. <laughs> Claire, don't you dare. Yeah. Don't you dare post it. Claire should probably be here. She okay. really should. Pop culture note. The world, uh, the world record egg. So when some I don't know about human this. put a picture of the egg, like it a, was a chicken. Oh, 54, 54 no, like million the Twitter likes. egg thing. 54 million likes. So it's a picture of an egg and it got yeah. 54 million likes. Cause so like on Twitter, if you don't have an avatar, it's just an egg. Yeah. So it says 2018 was off to a good start. It's, 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 egg. Yeah. Just, just it's exactly egg what you're facing. Wait, we have it beat yeah, out yeah. Kylie Jenner for the most liked photo on Instagram yes. thanks to a social media campaign that went viral. It accomplished the feat. It accomplished the feat in only ten days, and I was nearly fifty-four million likes and counting. So, riddle me this: Was it about liking the egg, which is silly and fine, and it's easy to like something's fine, but it's again social media. It's impacting, influencing, and discussing a, a, a discussable topic. Um, was it about the egg, or was it about beating out Kylie Jenner? Probably beating out Kylie Jenner. Oh, that's what I would say. And. I support that, but you know. I just, mean, she she like feel? 21. Like, I, I can't. She's a billionaire. Um, I think it was just about the ridiculous, yeah, like, perfect. ambiguity about the importance of social media. Yes. In the okay. first place. Yes. It's actually, if I'm going to bring it back to art his, or my art historical knowledge here, uh, I would say this wait, is. Wait, what was your major? Um, art history. I'm a professional. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I'm a, I'm a credible source. Yeah, not not my yeah. but great for my podcast. Yeah, <laughs> I can please support my friends. Really good day for cocktail parties. Yes. So if you're at an art show, 
<laughs> or amongst anyone that matters. I'm just kidding. Oh, I know. It has income over 200k. Shut up. Yeah, I just kidding. I'm 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 Prospecting. <laughs> um, I don't remember what I was saying. Yes. Um, oh, all right. Our historical background. Yes. Right. So this is exactly what happened with the entire Dada movement post World War One. Wait, the entire what? The Dada movement. What's so D A D A. D A D A. So DJs. Dada. Right Dada. before, right before the Surrealist movement, they oh, did yes, a yes, whole, yes. they did a whole thing about what is actually art, and that when somebody signs their name to something and they hang it in the gallery, then it becomes art. And to take American culture to put it in the Exactly. Box. So there yeah. is your egg v. Kylie Jenner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Isn't the egg is more of a social commentary on the ridiculum that is social media than actually meeting Kylie Jenner? Just with this, she thought she didn't have anything to say. She but I found her, her voice! But I'm sure <laughs> she found her facts and her heart rate's at 120. This is perfect. Your new favorite cardio. Seriously, I'm slowing down. <laughs> um, no, seriously, I couldn't agree more. And. I can't believe putting art in a box is a thing. Is that can, is that even really possible? No, no um, so I did my senior thesis on Marcel Duchamp, who's the king of this. So he did the upside down urinal, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he signed it, uh-huh. and that was put in a gallery, and then in a museum, and all the rich bougies were like, oh, oh, oh look at this new fantastic concept, and he was in the wings just laughing. Uh, yeah, and all my of friends were like, yeah, I took a piss in that. Have you ever? Okay, still do that though. They're- Absolutely, that's like great. That's yeah, the art basel. I was just getting ready to ask yeah, about that. The, so the how do you feel about it? Dude, the banana duck. Yes, that's oh a different look. That's oh, a different look. It's in December. It's in December. Dude, 120K. Oh. Yo, I got a banana and some uh, pink leopard. What am I not it doesn't doing matter. right? Because this is, what, this is what everyone says. Is, it's a banana with duct tape. But you didn't come up with that. Right. But oh, look at my house. I came up with the dollhouse. You just put your name on it. Yeah. But oh, you didn't put your name on someone it. Someone put their name on that leaf of it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, guess what? Yeah. I mean, my face is on this shit. What does that count for? Do we just lose value? <laughs> 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 Dude, acceptable. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Kylie Jenner. You know what? Kylie Jenner. Um, also, the, the 10 year challenge. Did you guys do that? I didn't what do is that. that? No. The challenges, exactly. God, no. Sorry, this I was, was still in college. This is oh, I was a I'm 10 like, then, and I remained a 10. <laughs> you know, hey, yeah, yeah, no, yeah, 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 where were you 10 years ago? Or are you 10 years now? Not your ratings. Hey, hey, <laughs> so <laughs> lady. Lady, ladies, this is how you do conversations to be. Rate yourself a 10, Momos. And when you get out there, then you'd be 11 at some point. Well, no, 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 you're 10 years, 10 years, and then you do your 10 years ago, and then now, like 10 years now. Yeah, dude, I know what it is. Okay, well, then you can't rate yourself. That was. So did you she do it? No. no, I mean, the point is if I looked at the picture from 10 years ago, and oh. I looked at the picture now, I'd be like, Word. You had to break it down. Ten. Sorry, I was busy duct taping a banana to a uh, portrait. <laughs> I was busy that. creating fine art. <laughs> <laughs> but I, wait, wait, who has a sharpie so I can sign it? Then it's legit. Then it's then it's. Fine. Anywho, did you do the ten year challenge? No. I, I was in college still. Oh, I didn't. It was weird. No, I didn't do Zach that. Zach doesn't even have social media. What? I oh. do. I have levels of it. I just don't participate. Levels? Right? What are the levels? So you need to judge people? and stuff. Yeah. That's yeah, that's sounds, but no so you can look up. I oh, look okay. I look at actually. It's very stale, you know. So you're, you're like the ones who like to just like scroll and like look at people's Great. lives. That's it, yeah. Mostly okay. Okay. in the dark on a Friday. This is a weird... I support all. I call that sales, yeah. and I call that financial sales in particular. It's, yeah. dem- it's demographics. You, know, you look like a strategy, you're like, how it's much fine. is that champagne they're holding? Oh, don't call Kristen. <laughs> <laughs> don't swipe right. Uh, no, I'm doing that computer. Barely works. <laughs> oh my um, God. Okay, next one. Boom. You're going to love this one. Fry Festival. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, oh. she's the loader. I'm going to love the girl. Both of oh. all of us. Oh, you know Fry Festival, right? Fire festival. Oh, fire, 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 fire festival. Fire festival. Fire festival. I think I should, would you like um, to commentary on this first, or would you like me to commentary? Oh no, do it. I, 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 just, I want to announce that I went into business with Jaw Roll. So man, there's sometimes when I just want to sit at home and do nothing, and then Kristen calls out of the blue. Oh wait, after the week previously, I had been watching a documentary on the fire festival. And I was like, oh, I mean, that's not well, you so... Didn't see, you didn't see it until then? Don't I stop talking. No, I didn't, I didn't see it until then. 
And so when I was sitting at home on a Sunday afternoon, ring, ring. <laughs> Yes, hello. I told you to yes, watch hello. it. Yes, hello. That's how you oh. answer your phone. Yeah. Yeah. That's how you answer your phone. Especially with their best friend. Yeah. Yes, sure. yes, hello. Oh, yes, hi, hello. Um, oh, you need to buy a ticket to Grand Cayman right now because, oh, oh, that's right. Right. because <laughs> these guys are hosting this dope music festival <laughs> and they're totally hooking us up with free VIP tickets. And I'm like, oh, cool, pack my own cheese sandwich. <laughs> and I bought my ticket and to Grand Cayman we went. It was not fire. And it was not fire. It was not even close. It happened. I was but it actually happened. happened. But it happened. And, that was a good and, thing. and you were fed. Did you watch the documentary? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but, okay. but that was like my real life basically feeling with Fire Festival. And I was scared. But I persevered. <laughs> And yeah, then I, like um, honestly, when you guys went, it was so close afterwards. Yeah, we talked about it. You're we like, talked like, like when she was going. Like that was when I was still working That's at my old job, and I was like, "Bro, are you about to go?" Okay. I was like, "Oh, I'm going to a festival with my influencer friend, but it's not yeah. like fire." <laughs> because it's I printed not the T-shirt. Like <laughs> yeah. well, no, no, it was super well, legit. It was super, it was super legit. legit. It's been around forever. But okay, let's just talk about the festival. Let's rewind. Give it actuality. Let's rewind. Okay, have you watched? Have you watched the documentary? No. Oh, okay. watch it today. So these super oh, gifted yeah. marketing humans yeah. had this phenomenal marketing company, which is subjective, but we're gonna hold that right now. <laughs> um, but I, I, in my perspective, I think it really was legit. And they're like, let's do an event, which is like kind of the next big step. Of and Ja Rule was back in it. it. Well, uh, you you bring that in, okay? Let's let Ja Rule. Yeah. Well, ja Rule. Well, well, We'll then, unpack that. Wait, we'll wait, like, yeah, yeah, do you have do you anything on Murder Inc. and or God? Like you just gotta be like, we'll okay, you gotta it. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. So I anyways, they they, they bring marketing company that <laughs> decided to put together this incredible festival because festivals are their age. It's kind of like one of the more monetizable angles of all concerts right now. Like it's hard to sell tickets for one band, you put them all together, blah blah blah. They they pick out an island. Oof. They sell these intense tickets and basically the entire up to two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Yes. Yeah, people did and they tickets. yes they you get hired, a free yacht too. You got to stay in Cabana. I mean, you get a Cabana. Okay. It was what here's the thing. They funded. They kept getting funding. Long story short, it didn't happen. But they sold tickets and they got influencers, quote unquote. Can't well, but they did the influencers they first. They right. did the, yes. they so they did the marketing first. campaign. They had like first. the Hadid, which and, was like, the which was brilliant. Right. Yes, which was very. I'll be very good. It was it was, it was the perfect example. That of that influencers. Good. This way, it's influencers fun. need to protect their brand and their voice prior before the paycheck. Know that if you don't know and do your fact check on what you're promoting. It could wipe away your whole brand. Are you saying yeah. that the influencers didn't get paid first? No, no, no they, they got, got paid. They paid oh, them. They, got paid. they, they got paid, but right, they cool. promoted something that wasn't real. Right. And like at this point, you may or may not know. Yeah. But, dude. but also in hindsight, that's why when you see influencers on, on social media, they say "ad" first. No, and then, it's or hashtag sponsor. There's like right. seven words or hashtags you're supposed to use, but it's not a yes. FTC, But before FTC. then, they weren't doing that because yeah. they. I think they were trying to sue them. They did get sued. They yeah. Had them yeah, oh, they got sued. But, like, influencers have to protect their voice. I mean, because, again, the Kardashians, whatever, you'll, or even, mm -hmm. like, big brands, Coca-Cola, whatever, you can rebrand, are, you know, 5K to 10K or 50K or 500K. It's hard for you, once you, like, dilute your voice and try to monetize your audience in a certain way, even if it's a good space and it's the wrong way, mm -hmm. people believe you less. You can't unbrand from that. So you can't. it you costs can't you way back. more than, like, these New York, right. like, Hustler types that are kind of like just seeking quick angles. Right. Um, so I, I'm, I'm almost. Did you promote fire festival? No, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you weren't on the board. No, 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 no. 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 I, I just, just, I 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 you um, were like, which I download, but that's so you want to turn it down. Yeah, well, I mean, if you got hair budget, because I'm down to wear curly, that's a whole lot. Whenever we used to go out at night and Chris would try and do curly hair, I'd be like, no, dude, don't curl your hair. I have some curly hair. I know you like, do. I, I love, love it. it. Anyways, <laughs> I love it. What I mean, no, I was not involved in it, and I never would. I, I, I it, it looks sketchy. The people. It did not look sketchy. Stop, girl. I'm a fan of housing, but like, price is not. Like, like 2002. Uh, like, are you serious? Where would I be without you? 
I think it was, wasn't he down at, um, did he do one of, uh, the events in Dorchester or something? I hope oh, not. Probably. I but hope what not. we heard when we were at, what did we go to? What was it called? I had a friend that went there. What was they, it called? No, they went to Firefest. No, what did we go to? They they, oh, so we they stayed. Oh, we got to She's like, fuck it, we're just gonna, like, eat some weed or whatever. And they were <laughs> oh, so oh, bad. Yeah. And then, like, they, they kind of, like, re, um... We got them ish for wristbands, and then everybody that paid on credit card could fight the credit card and they got their money back. But anyway, right. she's like, we're like, it was so fucking weird. We oh didn't. My you want sucker money? They were at the bar, they got drinks, but then they're like, there's no food. And she's like, thankfully, Jesus. somebody, one of her friends had like seven suits, swimsuits in their backpack. And they floated for like seven days. She was like a way chill hippie, and then they just had as much fun as they could in the goggles. Like, oh. but, like, no food, no nothing. What did we go to? Not that. Kaboo. Um, Kaboo. Kaboo. Kaboo dude. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Whatever. But we heard from the locals that Ja Rule was yes. doing like recon. He's trying to find out. No. 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 Yeah. These guys are no actual way. business humans. He was like, no, because we were like working a business deal at that point in time. And like, he was like, that's not a thing. And I was like, okay. Because I kind of asked that. And he's like, no, no, no. I promise you. That's not a thing. So Ja Rule was not running like recon? No, he was down there. Oh, he, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, Tight islands so like everybody knows. I mean, it's like six people. Like you mm -hmm. can afford to live there. Excuse me, and then everyone else is like locals. So it's like eleven people, and they're like, no, we, we <laughs> saw your documentary, man. Get out of here. Also, not a thing. Yeah. Be the can't yeah. go to any island anymore. As you I mean, you can, but whatever. February. Okay. February. <laughs> okay. So I think starting out with a depressing point, but moving right back to reality. A truck hits 90 people shooting in Illinois. Things are happening, so we get more shootings. Um, bringing it back to real. And then the movie Shallow. <laughs> let's just, can we conversate that? Were you guys serious? Conversate? Yeah, no, let's, let's stop there. Were you, were you in the Shallow? What's Shallow? What's that? Okay. The movie Lady Gaga. Oh, no, no, no. That's called A Star is Born, boo. I'm sorry. The, the name song, of the song is Shallow. shallow. Oh, sorry. Oh, the look at yeah. I got you. Shallow. I am a monster. Um, I'm a little monster. Sorry, oh, yes, I'm a bit. Yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry. So the song was like, the song that the, they got the Oscar. That was like, the song was right. shout. Yeah. Yeah. The star is born. But the movie remake, was, it, my remake like five times. I okay. Like, yes. It was actually pretty good. Oh, I watched yeah, the first yeah, one. Really great. Oh, I thought it was good. Dude, it was I know, really I don't do depressing movies in general. Man, yeah, that's that's not, no, that was good. So that was so good. So was and then there's a lot of crying involved. Yeah, a lot. Lady Gaga yeah, yeah, people it. cry. He's doing like, well, yeah. man. Just Skip that and we go to, to girl. Um, man. Yeah, you know, Secret Life of Pets too. That was like, yes, you know, acceptable. Not, you know, like cartoons. That's so you, I don't okay. hate I don't do anime, but I'm good for that. More than this. It's not anime. Or animation. Anime is like. Sorry, I don't do animation, Disney. Anything else in the documentaries? It's just I'm not ready to do it. That's a hard no. That's fine. I'm not into women's marches or nothing. I'm here in Marching Boot. We're going to get anime. Just kidding. This is my favorite section. If you have people that you can be. You know, solid, you know, have solidarity with. That's fine. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. In there. In, so in wait, way. excuse me. So I have been trying this Susan whole. Sees you. I've been trying this whole like Bumble revolution. Uh, okay. Fuck is this related okay. to what okay. we're talking about? No. It's yeah. Fine. Okay. okay. About what so angle you got right now? There's a bunch, Bradley Cooper. Did you date him? There's a bunch Ooh. of dudes on Bumble Bradley. that in their profile say they're into D and D. What? what excuse me. What, what is, is that? that? I. I was like, what is that? And so I had to Google it like an adult. You didn't just ask them. What, like an adult would do. No, I did't want to match with those dudes. Like, a, to You're like, like D and D sounds weird. Well, you can ask questions before you match. No, you can't. You either match. You have to like match, or you don't get to talk. How did you avoid this D and D cover thing? Because it's in their profile, so oh. you can see their profile. Oh. Okay. And the profile says like, oh, I'm into like blah 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 and D and D, and I'm like, what is that? Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, that's way... Okay, you that's, know what? It's way less worse than I thought it was. Are you into Dungeons and Dragons? I've never played before. Oh, it's a game? Yeah, it's a game. Yeah, it's a game. 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 What's the thing where people beat themselves with foam swords? LARPing. Oh, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> She's like, that's I mean, my profile. Yeah, is that <laughs> uh, you a professional <laughs> LARPer? No. So you LARP? No. no. Um, I can't do you this. LARP, bro? You make LARP, bro. Do you fake with, like, a foam head? You're like, oh, I'm dead? Yeah. Um, I think uh, it's more like... <laughs> you LARP? No, no, I think it's more like, oh, you hit me with ye old father's sword. Oh, yeah. 
Because there's like a mini book of I died. Like I died. I died. I died. I The festivals are, are interesting. I would go. I would go. I would go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. human chess. Uh, like yeah, I went to King Richard's Fair. Yeah. What the I mean, I'm in. I'll wear the outfit. I'm not going to participate, but I'll just go. No, there because they don't here. even like want you. They know you're a fake. Oh, oh, that's so it. They're not right. open. No, because they know you're a poser. So it's they're like, closed. Well, wait, it's not going to help you. How can we get closer for poser if we want to just go and see what it is? No, you can go, but Chris is like, I want to wear the outfit. Who yeah, I'll wear the outfit. Anything? I'll be there, but. Listen, don't I'll have, come down on me. I'll have the hair and I'll have the rocket of Loxley out. And my Lulu pad breasts. Perfect. Oh, I was totally gonna wear like I have my leaves. I have my leaves. Yeah, exactly. Oh, oh here's we go. I mean, are you a professional larper? Do you know you mean yeah, because of a larping of a larping but, agent? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lots changed about me so since you, I moved to Boston. Exactly. <laughs> what do I do for fun around here? <laughs> <laughs> anybody, anybody, anybody got a new foam sword? <laughs> I don't have a foam sword. Clean has a foam toy somewhere. It doesn't travel well when you're. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I leave all my other foam swords in Denver when I <laughs> yeah. out. Yeah. Didn't tell you one thing that I hate about Boston, no swords. <laughs> Oof. Okay, we're gonna LARP so our we... way right into uh, later February. <laughs> okay, moving up February, we're still here. Uh Jordan Woods Kardashian family drama. Who's that? So it was um the youngest baby, um uh Kylie. Her baby best baby. friend. Oh. Her best friend and Chloe's. Chloe. Then boyfriend Tristan Thompson's. I guess they made out. No, they're getting Isn't there a big like, like age difference there? I mean, I, they didn't that? even really discuss oh, okay. that. They were just to like, fast. don't touch my man type of thing. Okay, I'm over I mean, they had a baby. Right. But you know, but also there's a million famous good looking people. But sorry. let's let's backtrack. Tristan Thompson, basketball player, he was uh, with his previous baby mom, and then left her while she was pregnant mm. for Chloe. Oh, and then ladies. she not her. supposedly PSA allegedly he ain't gotta change. Yes, <laughs> come on. It allegedly has been oh, cheating on her multiple times. Wait, Zach, Frank, has and once with Jordan. Boy, you, boy, you. I just have Give one it to thing us. to say. I, I understand that. I, unless it's a new decade, which is a couple days away. Yes, in finally. which case, Thank it's true. you know, maybe they can change. Well, okay. Uh, let me, uh, not you. Uh, oh, pregnant? As, oh, pregnant? As, oh. as a non-financial but an energy investor, the fuck? No. no. <laughs> I mean, I'm with you. I, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe in like the good humans. I believe in evolution. <laughs> but when the pattern is there, it's not about, this isn't even about the NBA or the Kardashian. And he had cheated on her a few times, I don't know, a few times no, before the whole Jordan. You, oh, I'm, I'm with you, you guys. Would, I don't know. So. I, would, I, would, I, I, would, I feel what you're saying, though. No. Evolution and change is possible. I'm on my own path here. So. Well, but you're not a you, you got some kids on Wow. Yeah, different animal. That's what you think. <laughs> Oh, 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 Internal is. optics to say no. Oh. Oh, I'm saying I have somebody judging me for the other side of the table. Are we just, okay, we'll look like you. I like, we'll go send I like all of these dynamics. This Humans. Giving me life. Mm -hmm. Trust your gut. Put it down. Business, personal, professional, whatever. You trust your gut. If it feels wrong, motherfucker, it's wrong. That's a great way to just end yeah, yeah. that one. Yeah, we're just going to jump on out. Um, Chris yeah, Thompson. Chris Thompson, you make a lot of money, but I'm sorry you skipped out on that Kardashian budget. I'm just gonna put that. Oh no, he's still he's still trying to be in, up in there. Yeah, oh out. no, okay. oh he's still trying to be up in there. Chloe, oh. I mean for God's sakes, uh, like let's be very let's be very serious. I don't know how you guys feel about the Kardashians. I'm not, I'm not in it. I don't watch any of it. But like entrepreneurs, I don't have cable. Like all of the like <laughs> I don't really watch, but like from what I've seen, like all of the dudes they get involved with literally treat them like shit. I know, I don't, oh, I don't like it. So, like, Everybody, what do you expect? Kanye doesn't feel like killing shit, right? Oh, no, no, no. Right? First of all, I'm a Kanye stan. So I know, we can have so a like, Kanye conversation. Yes, we have to. And he bro. loves his children. He you loves... think he treats her like shit? No, 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 no. Okay, no. then I'm here on that side with you. Ugh! But I can't stand him. Anyways. I would still, but, do, but the conversation is, does he treat her well? Oh, I'm, I'm not, you're not a fan. You know, I think, like, I think <laughs> that's, so, but I think that's 
that's so a different great. conversation because she has a different personality. Like she's more alpha, like than all of her. I mean, sisters. well, you know, he's like good about his mom. Like he loves his mom. It's a thing. Yeah, his mom also died, so it's like. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was keeping it like that. Oh, oh no, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Mama, no, but I see what you're. Mama. Yeah, I'm with you. No, yeah. but okay. Yes, and I think that stems from the top. Like, yes, it's a deeper combo. But yeah. I also think like he's always wanted children. He loves his children dearly. But all of like the other sisters, they date like just literally like. Fuck boys, which is fine, is that but you can't expect a lot out of what? what no, the here's fuck the thing. Just we're don't have. Just, we used to just call it the toy box. Now they're fuck boys. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Here's the thing. <laughs> don't have kids by them, especially if or a million dollars. Like, but they're making it popular. Like if you see on social media, they're like taking pictures with just them and their children, and uh, not like the guy. Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, like they're total dicks. I get it. But it's like it's like they're making it popular to be like a single mom. Do you think they're? Do you think they're trying I feel to be the same like, way just because like I grew up with a single parent, I'm so like, it just like kind of turns me off. It's weird. Do you, so I think their emotions are they're authentic. sensationalizing it, in my opinion. But also I that's because too. that's how yeah. I grew up. Mm -hmm. So other people may not feel that way. But like they're they're just like oh yeah here's me and my cute little my little baby it's here. It's like the baby accessory. You, like Thank tiny you. dogs. You know like what I'm a, saying? Like a little purse. That's yeah. how I. But that's how I feel. Yeah. But yeah. also like it comes off an accessory because they have money. Mm -hmm. Now if that was just them take away the money, they'd be like, oh my god, this piece of shit dude, like, what are we gonna do? Yeah, their do? mom's like yeah. a bagger at King Supers. You know what I'm saying? Okay, yeah. okay, wait, so, Tama, I'm gonna play devil's advocate here because a, a lot of females I know are, I get women's march, I'm gonna hire for my girls, entrepreneurs, a lot of women, I think we get to a nesting age, and then you are down, like, if you're successful, you have a job, you're a certain age, you just want to nest. You don't need anything else. Like, I don't need you to provide. I mean, you, you need to be a sperm donor. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, I'm simplifying a much larger conversation, but I think sure. it's kind of like you provide this, it's good enough, and like, otherwise you sure. disappear. Like, I don't need you. But seriously, like, right. but I, I think that's a thing. Like, I don't really need you in the mix. But why are they sensationalizing it? I, well, because not everybody is in their tax bracket. Not everybody's in their tax well, bracket. Nobody is, really. That's what I'm saying. Again, who does Beyonce only, date? Only, that's what I'm saying. So nobody. like, only they can be like, oh yeah, I'll just have a kid by you because whatever. You know what I'm that's saying? That's what I'm saying, like sperm. And on the flip side, how does it make the man feel? Like, do you feel emasculated being in a situation like that? Okay. Like, is it like is that so? is that a space for a relationship that can even thrive? Like, no, I mean I, there's so many like social pressures. Like I I don't even watch the Kardashian seriously, but mm -hmm. I respect the business angles. I respect how they monetize it as a business human. Do I think it's worth the personal give? No, but that's just me. Right, I'm not them. But I don't know that you know. I don't know that any relationship. And if it was like a group of guys, like if all the Kardashians were guys and they were dating girls that were just having babies. It's like, well, here's me, like, I mean, kind of like the, um, son. Uh, uh, Rob. Rob. Yeah. I mean, we don't even care a lot about him. And that was that the was same, like, that, that, honestly, that was the Come same on, situation. Come on, that was Come on! I don't watch it, I don't watch it, I don't watch it. No, she straight up came through and friend. was like, yeah, we're going to have a baby and I'm out. Hashtag entrepreneur. Yeah, for real, though. So, I mean, on all sides, but I, just, is society more like whatever? Or is it pop culture defining society saying, like, this is making it more digestible for everyone else being like, it's okay now. It, it, that happens all the time. But nobody has money to live like that. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what so I'm like. I think it's, it's not, a, in my opinion, you're just like putting out like, like things that just okay aren't so. achievable for the regular person. Just because like they have, they, they have so much money. So like they can just like, you know, pop out babies and they can take care of them on yeah. their own. As opposed to like my mom, like it's gonna be a struggle. Yeah. So why would you even like sensationalize something like that? And you have like people that literally model their lives after them. It's like, oh yeah, I'll, well, I'll try to get myself a basketball player, but that basketball player might be like already hit to the whole system and be like, no bitch, and you're not getting shit from me. And are. then they're stuck with this kid. Like it's too much. I don't know. I'm I'm well, not for it. Any human needs to be. I don't think that I just don't like them because they don't have integrity. Making. That's the only reason why I don't like them. They have no integrity, and then they're doing all these things, but people look up to them and they emulate them. And like, what are you doing for society? I can't be down, man. But this is what we're talking about, like influencers in general. Whether it's and this is like a heavy issue of like 
your marriage, your relationship, you procreating humans, which is huge. Right, it's it's a big thing. They're it's not making right it. Price. They're you're, they're making they're making it very small. Like oh, I just had a baby, whatever. You, but that's again, what makes it. But then that's what comes into our reality. And again, there are humans that can't afford a baby is expensive. And if you don't have two parents, I don't care if it's like two moms, two dads, or mom and dad, what have you. Not having two humans to help manage. I have two dogs as a single <laughs> female. It's a lot. Single mom. We're good with them. They <laughs> have me, and they're animals. But like. Eat two humans to manage, but if you don't have another human with you, like a team, it's hard. Yeah, so it doesn't matter what your views are, it's just easier with two and two that like love and support like a young human. And even that. with two, it's still hard. Yeah. Uh, so the fact that like, so like right? well, I want to be like Kylie <laughs> Jenner and you know have a kid and look cute and like like what and take pictures all day, like what the fuck? I think are you this, kidding me? Well, I hope the silver lining is this is where I really do have faith in our humans, our young people. They'll do you see have like, Kylie Jenner. No, but here's what I'm thinking. But I, I, I think our people will be like, oh, because, um, who is she married to? Or, she's not Travis Scott. Scott. She's not even with him. They're broke up now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think, I think young people will see, like, mm-hmm. yeah, we don't have that budget. I mean, the birthday party and all this, we don't have that. And now she's responsible for all those things. Yeah. And there's another human in, in that person's life, that young child's life. And nothing's perfect. I mean, sure. that's what it is. But I don't think they see it as idealistic as we grew up. I really no, don't. Because we no, sound no, like because they didn't grow up this. that way. Right. So I'm not holding they, that against them, but I also... I think they see the drama. I, I, I see how it is sensationalized, but I give a little faith to our young people that they can differentiate between... Oh, yeah, they're super smart. What they're seeing and, like, that. what is actuality. Because, like, who... We watch it because they it's do. entertainment, man. Like, yeah. that's not real. Like, you're... I mean, wiping your ass with $1,000 bills. And you're wearing... Perco- your child is wearing Christian and Dior. And, like, ugh, It's, like, All things... things. But you don't have a Turmeric and Tequila t-shirt. Ha! Ah. <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, <laughs> they probably don't even take turmeric. Hey. Or charcoal pills. How it's a girl. Mm. I will Can we refer you. Can we take a commercial break? Why? Wow, what's wrong? What you mean? I don't know. I just want a commercial break. She <laughs> <laughs> You don't need a commercial break. <laughs> Alright, pause. No. <laughs> we have to be videoing though. Thank you for joining Turmeric and Tequila with your host, Kristen Olson. Tune in next time and don't forget to subscribe on Apple, Google Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen.